All right, I want to welcome everybody here uh, to the uh, to the Oceanside Library and our special guest, uh, John Gorka. For those of you around the country, you should know that this is the Oceanside New York Library. Uh, I do want to I do want to tell you a little bit. Again, I would ask everybody to please uh, to uh, mute yourselves and to shut off your video. Um, that would be a that would be a huge help. Um, uh, so um, a little bit about the Oceanside Library. When we had to close last uh, March 13th uh, at nine o'clock, uh, we ran our first online program uh, at 9 a.m. on March 14th, that Saturday. By that Monday, we were running six programs a day by Wednesday 14. And we've kind of developed a fairly, fairly decent reputation across the country for some of the innovative programming that we've had here, both before the pandemic uh, and, uh, and during the pandemic. And we are ecstatic to, to see that we're starting to open up a little bit, and we're hoping that uh, uh, that, that continues. Uh, we've teamed up with libraries across the globe. Uh, we've brought artists and authors uh, to our uh, patrons and to all, all of you. You're always welcome, uh, from Nepal to, uh, to California, uh, and even as far as uh, away as Minnesota. Um, so for those of you who are, are from afar, uh, we, uh, we welcome you. Uh, we can think of no better way to mark what we hope will be the end of the pandemic, or at least its restrictions, than by featuring the work of John Gorka, uh, and the, the spe specifically the work that he has done uh, during the pandemic. John's been a towering figure in the folk scene for decades. Personally, I've been a fan for over 30 years, uh, from the stage at Godfrey Daniels to world tours, to his seminal work with the Razzie Dazzy Spasm Band, to his 11 plus albums. John has provided us with more than entertainment. He's made us laugh. He's inspired us, and most importantly, he's made us think. Tonight, we're going to chat with him. As we said, ask your check, uh, please ask your questions in the chat. And we'll be playing several of his uh, YouTube videos he created during this uh, endless winter. Uh, Woody, Guth Woody Guthrie said, it's a folk singer's job to comfort disturbed people and to disturb comfortable people. John certainly does that job superbly. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I give you John Gorka. Welcome, John. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for doing this. Oh, we're, we're absolutely delighted to, to have you. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the, the pandemic and, uh, okay. and everything that you did during it. But I think we're going to start right off right away with uh, with one of your songs. How's that? Okay, sounds good. Okay. I think we're going to start off with a, a song of mine from my first record. Uh, it's a song about wanting to be, be a tree when you grow up. It's called Branching Out. <laughs> tree gonna make my home with the birds and the bees and the squirrels they can count on me when I grow up to be a tree I let my joints get stiff put my feet in the ground take the winters off and settle down keep my clothes till they turn brown when I grow up I'm gonna settle down and I'm gonna leave I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach, reach for the sky. I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach till I know why. When the spring comes by, I'm gonna get real green. If the dogs come by, I'm gonna get real mean. On windy days, I'll bend and lean. When I grow up, I'm gonna get real green. If I should fall in storm or slumber, please don't turn me into lumber. I'd rather be a Louisville slugger swinging for the sea. I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach, reach for the sky. I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach till I know why, till I know why. All right, 
right. So I got to take you back. Uh, we, you know, last uh, February, March, I think I saw you the beginning of March uh, when uh, in, a, in a group. And I remember looking around that room uh, here on Long Island. And, right. uh, and and I think there was there were several hundred uh, people uh, our age and older and thinking, my goodness, uh, I, I hope we're all going to make this. And, uh, <laughs> and then about you know two weeks later, they closed down the world. Right. So, um, so, you know, you travel a lot. So how did, right. how did that change uh, hit you? I mean, as opposed to many of us who, you know, we work from yeah, home. Well, it, kind of, it, it changed everything kind of overnight. You know, it went from being a, a gainfully employed person to, <laughs> to, to an unemployed person. So uh, it, it was very strange. And March 13th, that's the day I came home. Uh, uh, the same day that you, you was your last day with the open library. So, uh, yeah, things just kind of changed overnight. And, uh, uh, and so I, I, I was, I realized I was going to be home a lot. I figured I'd, I tried to, uh, uh, try to make the best of it, maybe learn something new. And, uh, and yeah, I guess I, the idea of, um, uh, because uh, I have a home, this is a kind of a home recording studio, and I've got good equipment, um, but I didn't know, you know, about, but I thought I, I, would, I thought about making videos, and I didn't know anything about it, and I, so I started out um, uh, recording onto the, uh, on my iPhone and iPad, eventually I, uh, this has gone up to the one we just saw as three cameras, uh, so that's uh, kind of where I'm, I'm at now, and I, with the ability to Kind of to switch between them without having me uh, being the one because it's it's a one man operation, <laughs> and uh, so it was uh, uh, it, it was it was fun. I, I enjoy I've enjoyed learning how to how to do this kind of thing. But it w was not something I anticipated. And, uh, but it looks like uh, live shows might uh, start up again uh, for me at the end of uh, end of August, and I'm doing a, a one show. I'm traveling to. Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I'll play a show from the stage of the Ark in Ann Arbor, and but there will be no audience. Uh, it'll just be the the uh, video and uh, sound people, and it'll be a, a live first live stream show that I that I've done. Uh, they've they've streamed a couple of the shows that had been recorded, one at Cafe Lena and one at the uh, uh, Tales from the Tavern in California. Uh, uh, so that's. Uh, but that's uh, that's that's kind of where I'm at now. I still don't have uh, uh, internet that's uh, good enough for to live stream. It's kind of a uh, it has to be at least five times better than than, it, uh, than our upload speed. So, but uh, it's, uh, that might change soon, and uh, I'll I might be able to do this uh, from now on. I th I thought, and you know, it's like. Um, we had to learn the music and to talk to people on stage and now there's so much technology you have to you have to be your own kind of television station which is kind of a kind of a, a pretty steep learning curve but the, it's it kind of appeals to the nerd in me all right yeah we'll we'll talk more about that why don't we play everybody another song yeah uh, please do yeah sorry it took so long no 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 we're going to talk a lot <laughs> a lot more i but i, I don't want to don't, don't, don't want to make this all just a talk show. Here. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I, no, I mean, I'm enjoying the music. All right. So uh, the next song that we're going to play is uh, You Can Run. You want to tell us a little bit oh, about it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a song that was written by my friend Doug Anderson from the Razzy Dazzy Spasm Band. Uh, 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 Doug was a little older than the rest of us. Uh, he had done uh, uh, one semester at Moravian College, and he went uh, to live in, uh, in the woods in the, uh, New Hampshire, working at a, a, a tannery and a sawmill. Uh, but he, he's a super smart guy and he knew hundreds of songs and he was very generous with his record collection. And we'd have gatherings on every Friday, uh, Russ Rentler and and, uh, and Doug and I uh, at the beginning and then later on uh, Richard Schindel uh, joined in and uh, uh, Tim Tim Germer played played bass at the, on the live shows. But we had, we had lots of fun. Uh, so this is a song about a friend of his, uh, and uh, it's a song uh, called You Can Run. Mickey left on a long shot for a Mexicali hotspot, playing slide for a buck. 
and red hot luck Gritsy corner blues line Even hit the big time Last time I seen him He was low and riding high You can run, you can run Tell my good friend Willie Brown But don't court the devil to sing Your own name You can run, you can run Tell my good friend Willie Brown It's the world and not the man That's gonna change Once they're caught in the spotlight They never have a bad night But the sun's a stranger And health's a demon in the afternoon Drunk like a cowboy in Tucson Getting old as the golden Oregon You can try to believe But you never deceive the real ones You can run, you can run Tell my good friend Willie Brown But don't court the devil to sing your own name You can run, you can run Tell my good friend Willie Brown It's the world and not the man that's gonna change He's riding a lame horse Grits is on the same course He can't carry a ghost in a bag And sell them twice Don't you curse the ones who make it They're controlled, they just can't shake it A bad dream coming true Was never a dream at all You can run, you can run Tell my good friend Willie Brown But don't court the devil to sing your own name You can run, you can run Tell my good friend Willie Brown It's the world and not the man that's gonna change It's the world and not the man that's gonna change. All right, awesome. Um, I want to mention, since you mentioned the Razzy Dazzy uh, Spasm Band, uh, what what type of music would you say that was? Uh, We were, uh, we, we're kind of a non-traditional bluegrass band. Uh, I play. I was mainly the banjo player, uh, uh, except uh, I think eventually I, I sang some of the slow songs. Uh, I, I was more of a harmony singer, I think, probably in, in the band and the banjo player. And uh, Doug was probably the main the main singer. D- Doug goes by uh, under performs under the name Old Moose now. He uh, became a philosophy professor. And he uh, just retired uh, as the chairman of the philosophy department in Texas, uh, North Texas University. He's, I think, uh, uh, based in New England. So if you, you get a chance to hear Old Moose, you, uh, you're in for a treat. All right. Now, after you left the Razzie Dazzy Spavin Band, do you regret not making the switch to rap? Uh, uh, to to the, uh, the, uh, Doing more hip hop. More hip hop. I, 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 I considered it for a while. Uh, and then it, it was kind of 50 50, and uh, I flipped the coin and it went to a uh, uh, folk music. All right, okay. Well, it's, uh... the, yeah, like the kind of the older form of folk music. Uh, Hip hop is more of a, a newer form. Okay, well, that's a, that's a road, road not traveled, I guess. Right. We all have those. Um, question I, We have a lot of questions in the chat, and I'll be getting to them. Um, the one that I have is you travel a lot. I assume that you have to drive. A, a fair amount when, when you're out on the road. Is that, is that fair? 
Okay. So now I got, I want to know two things. Who do you listen to while you're driving? And do you sing along? Because, because I know I am, and there's 128 people in this room and I'll guarantee at least a hundred of us have sang along with your songs oh. in the car. So, so I want to know, do, do you sing along with anybody? I, I sometimes will sing along with my own songs in case I, I, I haven't played them for a while. It gets a way of, uh, remembering that that's something I need to need to do to get ready to perform. I, I, I've, I've, the other day I went, went through a, a 35 songs or something like that. And just to, it, cause I was going to be doing five or six in a row. Uh, so that's, 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 a, uh, that, that's, an, uh, I, I definitely sing along in the radio with the radio. Uh, I, I listen a lot. I'd listen to a lot to the news and I listen to podcasts uh, music, musically, um, I guess it would be kind of all over the st all over the place. I would often kind of start all the way at the left end of the dial and kind of hit search to see if I and, and go with the strongest signal, no matter uh, what uh, what kind of music or or preacher or uh, news thing uh, might have been on. But m mostly FM FM dial from the from the left side. Okay. Um, uh, Tim Goodwin uh, asks, uh, hey, yes, Tim. how your pandemic writing was going. Did you? I remember I, I saw Nancy Griffith in, in concert right at the end of the Bush administration, and she said she had not been able to write a new song uh, because she had was so depressed uh, during during the administration. Which I, I would love to hear what she has to say these days. But yeah. uh, um, did you find that you were able to write new music or or? You know, some, there was some some uh, writing of mu new music. Uh, I think partly uh, uh, I feel it's almost like I feel like uh, the, the songs are my children. And I don't know. How to, uh, <laughs> I kind of want to have an idea of what kind of world uh, my children will grow up in. Uh, so I think it's pro that's probably put a put a damper on the writing. But th there are uh, uh, th things keep coming. Uh, uh, I've got this little. Uh, before the one of the last shows I did before things shut down was uh, in in Ohio and in Columbus at uh, six string concerts and they, they did a songwriter workshop and they they gave me one of these so I've been putting a lot of phrases in there and there are, there are definitely a, a few things in the works but it was it was almost like I I, uh, I wanted to get a better idea of what what kind of world they were gonna uh, uh, be born into. Okay, but uh, but I you know I, I think that's I think uh, I think a lot of creative energy you know with other speaking with other songwriters you now some people it's been uh, like a, a tremendous boon I heard that uh, that uh, Tom Paxton has written like eighty songs during during the pandemic, uh, so I, I I think for a lot of us the the, the creative energy has been. Uh, dedicated to just getting through a day without getting you know uh, too too far down I, I I've been affected somewhat by the the kind of pandemic depression uh, stuff but uh but it's, you know it's it's kind of just the nature of the of the time so uh, I, I try to uh, give myself a break and uh, and uh, urge others to give themselves a break as well that sounds that sounds great all right next we have up uh, on our list here uh, do you, do you have a list there? Or do you want me to... I, I don't, but I think it's, okay. it's uh, the Michael Smith song. Uh, Potter's Field. Oh, Potter's Field. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I wanted to start out with uh, with songs that uh, that had a big influence on me. Uh, uh, in June of 1979, Russ Rentler and I from the Razzy Dazzy Spasm Band opened for, for Jack Hardy from uh, Greenwich Village. And he was kind of uh, becoming known as a... a as a, a songwriter from, from Greenwich Village, uh, you know, kind of a leader of the uh, of the, the scene there, and uh, uh, I got to go to a show, and I, I was really, I, I started to become kind of a house opening act at Godfrey Daniels for the songwriters coming through, and uh, I love uh, I loved reading what, about what Jack had to say and uh, in in his interviews, and I loved the show. And I think in between sets, I got to talk to him a little bit. And he was the first person I met who wrote songs on a schedule. I would never knew, knew songwriters could do that. I knew that novelists would try to get up every day and write a certain number of, of pages or a certain number of words. So I didn't know songwriters could do that. I said, 
I just, I just, you know, I just sit around and wait for inspiration to strike. And he said, he said, that's a cop out. If you work at it, put yourself on a schedule, you're going to get better, faster. Even if you throw out three quarters of what you're, you're going to, you do, you're going to, um, you're going to really improve. And uh, uh, it's like you're exercising the writing muscles. So I put myself on a song a month schedule. Uh, and after the first year, I ended up having like 16 songs so more than more than one a month and so i put myself on a, a, a two song a month schedule with a deadline at the middle of the month and the end of the month and that uh and i stayed on that for uh for as much as i could for many years until having kids that really made a huge difference and I, that's a, when i've been listening to uh some of his music uh that the first summer uh I listened to his record, The Nameless One and Mirror of My Madness, uh, the, those two records from around that time. And I, I love those records. Also, Landmark is, is a great record, and uh, I've been listening to that one. He's got, he had some uh, uh, great, great, great songs. He was a great artist. Okay, well, then we're going to go on to Huddersfield. Huddersfield. Thirty days has September Thirty days in the sun April, June and November All those days on the run But you gotta stop somewhere Before you're betrayed by the wheel Take my love by the hand For a walk down to Potter's Field Thirty pieces of silver From a long ago scheme That's the price that you kill for Fulfilling Jeremy's dream But it's all blood money Familiar friend at your meal But the flowers still bloom Every spring down in Potter's Field Thirty years in youth's doorway For philosopher kings Thirty more that you work for The tomb's retirement brings But you can't take it with you Every day that life steals Time in the end puts us all down in potter's field Has September, thirty days in the sun, April, June, and November, all those days on the run. But you gotta stop somewhere for you're betrayed by the wheel. Take my love by the hand for a walk down to Potter's Field. Take my love by the hand for a walk down to Potter's Field. Take my love by the hand for a walk down to Potter's Field. Yeah, uh, uh, I once got to to, to go uh, uh, took took a ride with um, Utah Phillips. I think they had a show for him at and uh, the freight freight and salvage in Berkeley, and I and I played at it, and I gave him a ride. I think we did a radio show, and then uh, I gave him a ride to his his home in Nevada City, and we talked about different people. and And one of the people uh, we met, we talked about was was uh, Jack Hardy in, uh, and uh, uh, Utah Phillips said that Jack Hardy was a, a great mystic poet. I thought that was a, that was a, a, an inter interesting description. Okay. Um, one of the questions that we have here is uh, from Jim Hickey. He said that uh, he saw you play or 
that, that you played the uh, the last concert at the World Trade Center uh, back in in '01. Right. Yeah. Um, do you do you have any recollections about that? Yeah, it was a, it was a beautiful night. It, it had been uh, really hot and humid, and then the uh, the humidity broke the night before, and uh, I think it was uh, I think it was August twenty eighth. It was uh, thirteen days before uh, before the nine uh, eleven, and uh, it was just a beautiful night. There was the stage was set up there, and uh, and Lucy Kaplansky came and sang with me. I remember I had a couple hot dogs from the vendor there on the uh, on in the plaza, and it was a, it was just a a, a, a perfect night. You know, uh, and my my dressing room was in the base of the of the of the of the north tower. Uh, so that that's uh, to, to have it be uh, uh, destroyed in that way is just a uh, kind of a mind-boggling uh, uh, thing. But I, I, I remember seeing pictures of that of that night. It was a, it was a beautiful night. Okay. Um, I, if it's okay with you, John, I, I'm going to skip down a little bit. Uh, sure. From the list that we had talked about. Uh, yeah. I don't want I don't want to keep you here till three. Well, I'd keep you here till three in the morning, but I I don't, I don't know that uh, your family would like that. Um, how about we, we go down until I know? How's that? Sure. Okay. Um, anything you want to tell us? Yeah, this is the, the title song of my first record that came out in 1987. And uh, I wrote it, I think, uh, I, I think that the, I was impressed by, I grew up in New Jersey and I moved to uh, Pennsylvania to go to school. And I stuck around because of Godfrey Daniels uh, Coffee House. And just the, the the layout of the town just made sense to me. And when I when I started to write songs about uh, the area, that's when people seem to start to take notice uh, of the songs. And uh, it's a song called "I Know," and it was written when I thought I knew something, but I realized I was wrong. But uh, uh, but I still call it "I Know." It's more like "Yeah, I know." <laughs> I know where the cops hang out When I come home late at night So then I know when To cruise or take it light I know, I know And I know when the radio's wrong And when the weatherman is jive I've seen the news still it's good to be alive I know I know I know that the church bells ring on the Sundays in this town I don't know enough to come indoors when the rain is pouring down and I know if you left me here I would be a poorer man if this world with you is a place I understand. I know, I know. And I know if I had my way I would never end this ride These hills will do If you need a place to hide I know, I know well, I know, I know I know, I know, I know So um, I got to ask you, now, in doing this series, did you rediscover any of your older works or, or, or look at them differently, you know, now? Because some of these songs now are, uh, 
you know, they, they, yeah. they quite, a, quite a few years. Yeah, uh, I feel like the the songs are alive. You know, I feel like they they uh, they seem like they they change all the time. Even when the words stay exactly the same, the the world changes and the the songs mean mean new th something new that they didn't like. Uh, you know, probably the best example of that is is where the bottles break. Um, but uh, I, I you know I. I I, I'm uh, they're the, kind of a lot of them were young man a uh, young man's songs, uh, so it's it's for me it's fun because it's it reminds me of uh, of being that being that age and uh, uh, but it, it, the, I, I feel I look at them as living things and uh, and 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 I tend not to uh, you know I, even if I wanted to play them exactly the same they wouldn't work they wouldn't sound that way they wouldn't turn out that way so. I just try to uh, try to uh, uh, kind of dress them up as best I can and uh, and present them to the world in as in the best light uh, uh, possible. Uh, um, so now I'm going to go a little different direction. I'm going to ask you that: Was there an artist or artists that that you never got to see play live that that you wish you had? Oh, let's see. Uh, I would I would love to have uh, uh, seen uh, Joni Mitchell play live. I never got to see, not never got to see her her play. I got to talk to her on the phone once. That's a that's a story for another time. Um, but um, uh, that, uh, no, I would have loved to have seen the Beatles. You know, uh, it, it, I've gotten to see. Uh, there's some people who I've gotten to see. You know, uh, like uh, Bob Dylan. Uh, not every time, but one in particular time and Frank Sinatra where I could see why they they changed the world you know that, that there's just something in in the uh, the music and the the artistry that so went so deep uh, it became a universal or a near un universal thing so that's uh, that's uh, I've been happy that I've gotten to, to see people like that well, I have to tell you, I, I don't know if you get a chance to look at these chats, but uh, you certainly have uh, have a lot of people here who uh, feel that uh, you, you've been a huge help here during the, during the pandemic. Oh, that's really nice. Well, thank you. All right. I'm, nice. I'm going to uh, go down to, to Blue Chalk. Uh, talk, talk to okay. us about Blue Chalk. How, how did that How did that come about? Uh, this is a song uh, I wrote uh, about. It's, it's kind of a composite, I guess, uh, of some friends of mine who... Uh, uh, I, I, Lucy Kaplansky had a best had the best introduction for me for this song. She said, "This is a uh, this is a song about some of John's friends who made uh, some unfortunate choices." So I, I think that's that's probably better than any uh, introduction I can give it at this time of, of uh, the day. All right, so here's here is Blue Chalk. Blue Chalk. she's doing I hate it when the rumors fly they give off such a strange sense of mission bring your helplessness on high but she would never run from strangers she sang alone like a bell will toll way above all the clang and the clatter out of fear of a demon soul None of this is my business And none of what I hear is true I am far from the mint condition Circulation's hard on you Hold tight, hang tough Love's not enough To keep you off that stuff To save you Hold tight, hang tough Love's not enough to keep you off that stuff To save you now mm -hmm. oh. He 
can always find the holes in the bottles Even with a blindfold on Never kept a seat on the wagon Rolling off like a rolling stone Blue chalk between his fingers Hustling a pool room song He always kept a line for the singers Pointing his cue right from wrong Tight, hang tough Love's not enough To keep you off that stuff To save you Hold tight, hang tough Love's not enough To keep you off that stuff To save you now One one of one of my all time favorites. Well, thank you. Thank you for uh, doing that. And uh, let me get back to my my screen here. This is where it starts to fall apart. Here we go. I'm I'm back and seeing you. All right. Um, I just want to. It seems like to me that the the the, the video can be at least where where I am now. That the, the video is not so can be a little glitchy, but the audio sounds pretty 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 good. Okay, is good. What, is that what you, you're hearing there? Yeah, I'm not. I'm looking through the com the chats. I don't see anybody having any any huge problems. A uh, couple couple of people have uh, texted me that they thought it was going really well. So uh, okay, that's not. Oh, thank you. It's it's that's it's going great. Um, morning side. Oh yeah. Okay. Now uh, uh, I'm going to tell you this, and I don't want to embarrass you, but the uh, or make this too hokey, but. Um, as somebody who made a, a you know, I changed careers at age 56 um, and uh, have always dived into different projects. Um, I found, I've always, I've always found this song um, personal. I, I've taken, taken this one personally. So, so tell us a little bit about it. Okay. Well, thank you. This, this is one, I wasn't sure, you know, I uh, was going to make the record. And I think uh, Lucy Kaplansky came and sang, uh, at, came to the house in the, on the other side of this wall here. <laughs> And, uh, and it came out, and, but I remember that uh, uh, Bob Feldman said Bob Feldman really liked this this song a lot, and uh, so that gave me some gave, gave me some courage to to uh, um, uh, you know to to keep it in there, and uh, it's a uh, I, I, I think every song is an act of hope, uh, but it's not clear to everyone. But I, so I do have some overtly positive songs. Uh, and the, you know, I think out of the hundreds of songs I've written, I've got uh, five uh, overtly positive songs. And this is one of them. This is called Morningside. Am I a fool at this late date? That says that you can be great. I heard it young, now I hear it again. It says you can be better than you've ever been. I don't want to waste what I have to give and all of the time that I've left to live. I don't want to waste what I have to give and any of the time I've got left. I can do more than I thought I could. Work brings more luck than knocking on wood. There's random bad and random good. Work brings more good luck. Good luck. Luck. You ask the world And the world says no That's the world's refrain Mine says go You ask the world And the world says no It's an old world refrain Mine says go don't 
don't want to waste what I have to give And all of the time that I've left to live I don't want to waste what I have to give And any of the time I've got left I can do more than I thought I could Work brings more luck than knocking on wood There's random bad and random good Work brings more good luck Good luck I better be off I've got dreams to dream Though it seems uphill And a little extreme But if I can find hope In this fading light Then I'll find you On the morning side I don't want to waste what I have to give And all of the time that I've left to live I don't want to waste what I have to give And any of the time I've got left I can do more than I thought I could Work brings more luck than knocking on wood There's random bad and random good Work brings more good luck Good luck Thank you very much. That's uh, oh, you're welcome. Lo love that one. Um, <laughs> okay, so we're getting a lot of. I want to uh, tell everybody before we uh, we're gonna uh, we have uh, four more uh, songs, John. That's okay. I'm gonna sure. play them a little. We'll talk a little less and play a little more. Uh, the um, I do want to tell uh, five people that you have won uh, a, a autographed CD from John. Um, what I what I want you to do is in the chat send it to me. Send me your uh, your name and address personally in the the chat. You can send it just to me uh, individually. Uh, so so do that, and I'm going to put my email. Or if you want to email me, I'm going to put my email uh, in the uh, chat right now. Um, and. Uh, so uh, you are the lucky winners, and that's uh, uh, Bonnie Proudfoot, Carla Gutman, Linda Ebitz, Lori Catarello, and Wayne Simpson. So um, just, just shoot there, and then uh, we'll, uh, <laughs> John's uh, uh, marketing team will uh, and production team will get it together and yeah, and, uh, and, and put a call into the warehouse. So uh, all right, I need to know this, and, and I know it's all adults because we're you know closing on nine o'clock Eastern time. Uh, what kind of what were you on uh, when you? Uh, uh, wrote flying red horse oh that was one of those songs uh uh i i drove past uh uh it was on i-84 exit 72 i'm not sure except if that's right but um it was uh there was, a, it was the ruby road exit and i passed it you know going from on the way to the boston i'd you know or, you know to play at passim or or Play at the Iron Horse, uh, going up ninety one. Uh, I, on I eighty four, there was the Ruby Road exit, and on the other side of the highway was Red Arts Mobile Gas Station, which is the, the was the, uh, the home of the Flying Red Horse was the, was its its mascot, I guess, and I, that just kind of stuck in my head for the longest time. Uh, Ruby Road and uh, uh, Flying Red Horse. Uh, and this song kind of came out. Of it, and I think it probably. Um, I think it think of it as kind of a song of freedom, and uh, you know, kind of breaking out of your, uh, you know, uh, the the chains that bind you. I guess, and uh, I think that's the only thing that. Uh, uh, some places I know I remember playing out in Canada, and they didn't have uh, parts. Some certain parts of Canada didn't have mobile gas stations, so they had no idea what I was singing about. But. Uh, but uh, fortunately, a lot of other places uh, have seen that Flying Red Horse. And it's not, I think the Flying Red Horse was Pegasus, uh, but this is not Pegasus. Uh, this is uh, uh, Pegasus' sister, uh, Peggy Sue. There we go. <laughs> Flying Red Horse. The Flying Red Horse from the gasoline wars Took off from her station in the sun 
Turning her back on the pack at the pump She jumped down from the sign to run Full serve attendants were spilling their hoses Self-serve was doing the same The manager dialed the emergency numbers Insurance man won't make the claim The sight of a horse crossing highways is frightening But not with the breed that can fly She's risen up to the level of oak trees Too low for the radar man's eye I am not much of a joiner, she says That's not where I draw my strength Some of them go for the depth of field While most of them go for the length Me, I will go for the hard combination Cause I have some need to belong But I'm leaving this unkind of sign life behind me I'll take what is mine and be gone If you see something red flash across the horizon It's not that your eyes aren't right She's taking her place with the red-tailed hawks and the broad-winged birds in flight. The flying red horse from Ruby Road North to Garfamer Station to the south. And I swear to you that this story is true. I heard it right from her mouth They will try to name you Tame you and frame you Aim you where you don't belong They know where you've been But not where you're going And that is the source of the song Was the, I think that's the, uh, the most recent one I've done. Uh, so the uh, it's uh, it's uh, fun to see the the different uh, you know the uh, from the technical side of things, seeing see how things have changed over over the time. Uh, the things that people uh, most people don't really care about, <laughs> but it's <laughs> stuff that I I've, I've been I've been trying to learn. Uh, All right. Well, it's it's let me tell you something. It's it's, it's great in the, in the production. It, everything's been wonderful. Um, o Abraham, talk, tell us tell us about O Abraham. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, a song I was uh, I was reading a, a book about the, the the writings and the sayings of of, uh, of uh, Abraham Lincoln. It was also around the same time I was uh, reading one of those Beat Generation books about Jack Kerouac and his his pals, and so uh, this song came out. And it's a song uh, that uh, it's the only song I've got that has both uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln and Jack Kerouac in it uh, uh, so far. And it's called Oh Abraham. I see a penny and I pick it up. If not the money, I could use the luck. And if it's face down, then I turn it over. Head forward Avenue between Inman and 
Gas is cheaper where I'm from, but the driving's not so good. People go and stay where they should not, and they don't do it like I would. Work is not the same as before. More software hands in the hardware store. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Abraham, look at all the money now. Oh, Abraham, good night. It's your party, but I'll cry if I want to. I wouldn't care how much they had if they would only do what's right, not far right. I was born by a Kerouac stream. Under Eisenhower's skies, they saw freedom as a big idea. Now it was right before my eyes. They say Jack helped to build the Pentagon, and Ike built the interstate that we are off and. On, off and on, oh, oh, Abraham, was it all about the money then? Oh, Abraham, good night. It's your party, but I'll cry if I want to. All powered up and charmed with might, so we are right. We're always right, right. We're right. They're wrong. Let them get their own song. We're right. They're wrong. Let them get their own song. See a penny and I pick it up. Ninety-nine more and I have a buck. Abe, you were born in old Kentucky, but we still miss you here. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'm start, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Uh, we've got, we've got two songs left, and I and that's almost there. All right, listen. By law, I am I am required to to ask you this since this is a library. Uh, and do you have a a favorite author or book? I, I'm not sure if I have a a, a favorite author. I, I like Richard Ford a lot, and and John Irving. Uh, Richard Ford. I think he was one person uh, who. I, almost every time I'd read one of his books, I'd write a song after it. There'd be something about it, just something how he gets in there. So I, I would probably go, probably go with him. Uh, a favorite book, uh, you know. I also, I always in high school, I loved. Uh, the, is it William Goldman, the, the the Princess Bride? Before that, be, before it became a movie, I loved the book. Uh, so that's that's one that that came to mind uh, uh, recently. Because I, I think I've been going back to the. Like musically, I've been going back to some of my favorite uh, albums growing up. You know, uh, like those those two Jack Hardy records I mentioned, and uh, some of those other ones from the same time. So, I'll go with, I'll go with that. But um, right now, one of the books I'm reading it's not a book of fiction, but it's a it's a it's a the book I'm savoring. Uh, Anais Mitchell's uh, working on a song, the uh, lyrics to Hades Town. It's a uh, 
it's a it's a tremendous book to see how much work went into the making of that of that uh, 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 theater piece is just is, is re remarkable and, and also her ability to work with other people to to keep improving uh, all, and I don't know how many times how many times it was staged before it became uh, uh, went to Broadway but that's that's an it's an inspiring book to see that uh, how uh, that it's it's the it's the people who work at it are the ones who who get better excellent 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 um, all right uh, I would ask everybody again to please uh, shut off your video um, we are recording <laughs> So, uh, Sam, if you would, I, you're the one I could see. <laughs> Although Sam did just ask the, uh, the question of what we were currently reading, and then you, oh. and you answered it. Oh, okay. So that's good. Um, so uh, there we go. And uh, Sam had good visuals, though, even though he was, he was on. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, he had good, he was a lively, uh, a lively audience. Uh, uh, getting, getting photobombed. All right. Where no monuments stand. Uh, talk to, talk to us about that. Yeah, I was asked to uh, 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 put some music to uh, some uh, uh, some uh, of they were uh, uh, they were making a documentary about the the kind of the life and work of William Stafford, the poet and pacifist. And I, I they sent me a book, and I I picked these these four lines because it's it's just two two stanzas, and I, I made it into a song and. Uh, uh, it's a song about uh, what might happen if, uh, uh, if a, to a place if a war did not break out there, and where uh, and where no soldier had to go. And uh, I think Eliza Gilkison did did me the honor of, of recording a version of this song. All so, right, Let's so where no monument stands. This is the field where the battle did not happen Where the unknown soldier did not die This is the field where grass joined hands Where no monument stands And the only heroic thing is the sky and the only heroic thing is the sky birds fly here without any sound unfolding their wings across the no people killed or were killed on this ground Hallowed by neglect with an air so tame That people celebrate it by forgetting its name This is the field where the battle did not happen the unknown soldier did not die This is the field where grass joined hands Where no monument stands And the only heroic thing is the sky And the only heroic thing is the sky uh, again you know wonderful absolutely wonderful um it's uh a, a very 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 moving song and so um so we're going to kind of bring th this evening to a close i want to i can't thank you enough uh for uh for participating uh with us and chatting with us uh um, again, I don't know if you've seen the chats, but uh, yes, some, some of them. Tony, I was going to, I was going to uh, ask you if you might be able to save the chats and send them to me. I'd love to see the the comments. I probably won't be able to respond in in in, in time, but uh, I'd, 
I would like to like to see what what everybody said, but uh, absolutely, yourself. thank you. Certainly, we'll do that. Um, and so, uh, where the bottles break um, now? The one of your the, the main car or one of the characters in this song is somebody that uh, I I have not liked since uh, the days <laughs> of the, uh, the, U, the USFL, and and I and and this is going to shock 135 people in the room here. But I'm I'm a Republican who was a Republican committeeman for 25 years. Uh, but I did not like that gentleman back from the USFL days. Uh, <laughs> so how how what did you think when that when that when that came around? Uh, well, I, I wrote the uh, I wrote the song in 1991, I believe. Uh, I think after seeing uh, the watch, I saw the movie Boys in the Hood. And I started thinking about where I lived in the south side of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and how uh, it was changing and it was getting fixed up in some ways, you know, that uh, were, were fine, you know, but I, I started to feel like uh, as, um, aspiring folk singers and other poor people would no longer be welcome there. So I wrote, I wrote that with that in mind. And, uh, and he was kind of uh, like the... Uh, the name that came up uh, as a, a part of that thing that I saw felt <laughs> was going in the wrong direction. Okay. All right. So then uh, we're going to end this evening with, uh, with where the bottles break. Well, thanks a lot, everybody for, for listening and uh, uh, I appreciate you uh, uh, coming here tonight and for and listening all this time. I hope uh, before too long to get some more videos up there. Uh, uh, if you could uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, that 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 will help me. Uh, if you wanted to do that, uh, it doesn't cost anything. <laughs> <laughs>
weren't saints No people just are, they wanna feel like they count They wanna ride in their own car People aren't saints No people just are, they wanna feel like they count They wanna ride in their own car I just wanna make enough To buy this town and keep it rough I just wanna make enough To buy this town Buy low, sell high You get rich and you still die Money talks, people jump Ask how high low life Donald What's his name? Oh. I walk where the bottles break And the black top still comes back for more I walk where the bottles break And the black top still comes back I live where the neighbors yell And the music comes up through the floor. I live where the neighbors yell and the music wakes me up. Life beyond the playground fence is serious as basketball. Life beyond the playground fence is serious, 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 serious. There we go. Hey, I popped up. All right, everybody, you can undo your your oh, video and your thank you. Your, your, unmute yourself if you want to give John a big hand. Hey. John, I can't thank you. This was absolutely wonderful. Hello, hello, everybody. Hey. 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 Great to see you. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. See you yeah. soon. Yeah.